So I'm gonna soak some of these. You have to rinse them well and then you put them into water and hot water and then they start plumping up and you can use them for your recipes. So I'm gonna make a mushroom stew. So I'm going to get that going. It's early morning, but that's fine because by the time I wanna use it, then um, they'll be ready to go. And I'm going to keep that water because it's gonna be really, really flavorful um, that it's soaking in and add that to my stew as well. So I'm just gonna do that now and that way it is done for later. This is just a Costco find and it has a really solid top on it, but the bottom is plastic, but it's really secure and I don't see it going bad or stale easily at all. Um, and it should last quite a while because there are a lot of mushrooms in here. So yeah, just gonna rinse these and then just boil some water and that way we can get these nice and plump and ready for the stew. So I like to soak my mushrooms for a few hours at least. Some people do it for less time, but once your mushrooms are nice and rehydrated, you're gonna go ahead and add it to a nice hot pot. I am using a Dutch oven just because it gets really intensely hot. And I'm also adding a mason jar full of water. So they are gonna get super flavorful. Make sure you add that water in from the soaked mushrooms because it's gonna add a lot of depth of flavor. Next, you're gonna add in whatever veggies you have on hand. These were pre-cooked veggies that I had in the fridge. And I'm also adding in greens. So I add in greens while it's cooking, but I also add in more greens when I'm serving it in my own dish. So I just added spinach, because that's what I had. If you have kale, kale works fantastic in this as well. And that way you get just more veggies in and your stew is gonna be more nutritionally sound. So this is optional, uh, but if you want to add in corn, I like adding it in when I have some extra just because it adds a pop of color and it just makes this do really nice. So it's up to you if you want to add it in, but I like adding in just a little bit of corn. This is another optional ingredient, the liquid smoke. If you want to keep it as whole foods as possible and with nothing added, then don't add it in. If you want to jazz up your stew a little bit more and add in more of that amazing smoky flavor, then go ahead and add a drop or two. It makes a huge difference. You really need very little of it in order to taste it. I like to add it in, so I do put a little bit. And then for my starch, just to bulk up my stew, I added in some brown rice. Maybe I added in too much brown rice, but I just wanted to use it up. You don't have to add as much as me. Or you can add potatoes, whatever you prefer, or don't add in anything if you just want the corn to be your starch. So that is it for this recipe. Super easy, healthy, and delicious. So this stew does take quite a while to cook on the stove. Uh, you do have to keep checking every so often just to you know see if the mushrooms are to your liking or if they're too chewy, then let them cook down a little bit more. Um, but really it's worth it because you kind of just throw everything in the pot, you let it do its thing and cook up and it's not fussy at all in that way because you don't have to constantly stir it and check on it. Just look at it every so often and let it cook up. So the rice always goes in right before you're gonna serve it just to warm up and it's gonna be cooked already. Just get like a pre-cooked rice or I always have some in the fridge on hand so I threw that in. Super easy and again, you can customize the veggies to your liking and add in whatever you prefer. So one of the things that I keep in the fridge, uh, the best time to have it is the spring until you know the early summer. Um, but I do have cleavers growing in the backyard. They're in, in essence a weed and most people pull them out. Um, I keep a small little bunch so they don't overtake everything because they are sticky. Um, just in the backyard just for my waters and this is really good for the lymphatic system um, so it's basically going to detox and it's really important to have these infusions i really like having them because i feel like i'm uh, cleansing my body and removing all of the toxins that build up over time because we just we can't avoid it we're um you know constantly getting bombarded with something um, whether it's the air we breathe the food we eat 
just all of the products we put on our body um, it just builds up so when you have things like this that are easy and you can put together and just have a simple water this is just cleavers and a little bit of lemon just to jazz it up some people sweeten it but I don't like to um, I just leave it as is and I keep it in the fridge I let it infuse for 24 hours and I drink it the next day super easy very fuss free and I'm cleansing my body so another thing you guys know that I love is thyme. Thyme is super easy to grow. I have it in the backyard and I just did more from seed as well just because I always have my thyme water and again I like to add a lemon or a lime but usually lemon just to add some extra flavor to the water and I also infuse that for 24 hours. I like doing my thyme water at room temperature so I just keep it out. Uh, the cleavers I'll keep in the you know fridge getting cold and then I'll take them out and drink at room temperature later. But yeah, super easy to grow these herbs and that way you have these wonderful drinks to have to detox your body. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching today's video. I hope you found some value in it. Thanks for being here, guys, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Health, joy, and positive vibes to each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next video.